fans? Um, well, we certainly are enjoying life in the in League Two right now, back in the Football League. Um, I think we've adapted ourselves well, and um, today is going to be another test for us, really. Uh, Southend are doing well. They got an ex Premier League manager there. Uh, they're in form. But um, at the moment, um, I don't think Body Parade is going to say that any club wants to come to right now. So, um, no, we're going to go into the game with confidence. Um, Jolly could be could be starting, or he could at least feature at some point, which is going to be welcome, well welcoming for me. You know, um, no, I think we've missed him. We've missed his pace. We've missed his um, his creativity and um, his talent in front of goal. You know, uh, he's just um, the complete player for us. You know, and um, obviously last season the things he. Did for us got us promoted so you know obviously we've missed him um say then they have got a great team at the moment they are getting tipped for promotion uh, challenge this year so um it's not a team you're going to be able to take lightly it is going to be a, a tough battle it's either going to be a boring one nil 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 type game or it's going to be full of goals obviously i hope it's, it's, it's um the second one but i would take a one nil honestly a boring one nil i would just take it right now um, we're very, very close to the top three. You know, we're, we're just outside the playoffs, but it's so close between all the teams. One win could take us up into like third. You know, or one loss could take us down at like 12th. You know, it's just so close at the moment. There's so many teams doing well and then going to slumps, and then so many teams doing badly coming into form. It's, uh, it's, it's just wide open at the moment. You know, so uh, so uh, it's um, it's. Um, it's an exciting season so far and um, it's climax let's hope it's just as exciting and hopefully uh, great for us um, I'm in the tavern at the moment the Riverside Tavern um, doing the football cards for Small Council as always um, always happy to help out you know um, we have a couple of lads going over to the Clarence Club um, thank you to them again for them for having us on their bus last week you know it was, it was good to enjoy an experience with someone else you know um, it's nice that we can all pull together and work together move together as well and at the end of the day we're all in it for the same reason only for the good of the county so um, as long as we're all aiming towards doing positive things for the club you know there's no reason why we can't all move together uh, move forward together so um yeah, South End, and we'll get the, uh, them the thoughts of uh, some people if we can if we if I can nab them in time because obviously the car takes up most of, most of my uh, pre-match time. But if I can nab a couple of interviews with a couple of people, I'll uh, I get hold of them. If not, um, we'll uh, we'll get some footage from inside the grains. Okay, we're gonna get the word of Phelpsy now. Phelpsy, take it away. Why are you feeling about the game today? Well, it's gonna be difficult, definitely. It's uh, neither quite high up in the league. Obviously, we've only lost one of our last six. So, uh, it should be a good tight game. But I'm predicting Newport win. 1 0. 1 0. I'll take a 1 0. I've said personally, I think it's going to either be either a 0 0, 1 0 type game or a free scoring game. Yeah, definitely. But you prefer to see the free the, the scoring yeah. game. But I would take just a 1 0. Yeah, definitely. Sort of, man. So, um, Jolly back in the team. Jolly back, massive boost. Always going to be a big boost today. Yeah, I mean, he, if he can come off the bench today, obviously you don't want to risk him too much. But if he comes off the bench today, he gets a good 20, 30 minutes on a pitch. He's his way back into it. Yeah, we got, but they're going to. Just that fell from Nick Rutherford, Paul Gobbert. Paul Gobbert. Too late now, you're on there. Oh, there's Paul Cobbett. He's here at the county and he's going to tell us what he thinks the game's going to go like today. Come on, Matt, tell us what's the score going to be. 2 0, I mean. 2 0? Yeah. Yeah. That's brilliant, man. Pinsley's in good form at the moment. 4 or 5 clean sheets, mate. 2 0, trust me. Fantastic. Thanks, Tony. Yeah, we prefer the back in it anyway. Go on, Jake. You can't watch it then, first goal scorer. Hey, Miss, you win if that comes in then. 67. Oh, nice one. What a ledge. Go on, Nate, say something. Hey, say something. What's wrong, Nate? I didn't see where. What do you want me to say? Um, well, what do I usually ask you to say? Well, for me. Are you going to win today? Um, are you Jackson's not playing? Type is on the bench. So. Fucking hell.
fucking arm. What are you talking about? Fucking arm. You fucking trash. Anyway, anyway, anyway. First kill, big fan. First kill, eh? It's boring this all, eh? Come on. On Johnny being back, what do you reckon? Well, for years, you know, he should have come on Tuesday. Yeah, I'm gonna back to him, but maybe just, just one. Yeah, sort of, mate. Nice one. All right, and the pitch is looking pretty spectacular. The grain ain't filling up too quickly, unfortunately, but it will soon enough, I'd imagine. Busy's looking a bit empty, though. Kick off in 15, and the Busy's looking rather empty. same when you're doing it yourself, it's only the same when we're ripping the piss out of you, mate. So. No, I know. We always do, but it's just really cool to get sort of thing. We're just jealous, you know. Love you, H. Love you, H. Yeah. <laughs> the way Turner is looking rather decent, and they've got a big fat drum over there, which is going to show us up because obviously our drummer has decided to go and do one. And it's been a one. Dickhead. Anyway. Anyway, I'm expecting it's going to be a decent game. I'm hoping it's going to be Fort Fortress Rodney Parade and we come away with at least the victory. in this league with an ex Premier League manager. I mean, wait. Like we could have we could have absolutely pasted them that day. You know, their keeper their keeper stopped that from being an absolute embarrassment, you know? So I'm absolutely buzzing right now. I'm gonna get steaming tonight and celebrate this win in style, like, you know? By getting so steaming and I'm not gonna get out of my bed all day tomorrow. Well I know I do it anyway, but I'm gonna give myself even more because I'm buzzing, absolutely buzzing. Um, so, the rest of the country support out as well. It's like, you know, don't get better than that. We've just gone up the League 2, right? We've just gone up the League 2. And we're adapting into this division, we're learning. And to go and beat someone like St. Ben's, like that, it's not just a 3 1 scoreline. We were more than good value for that, you know? And we absolutely smashed it today. And um, picking a man of the match is going to be very, very hard, you know? For me at the moment, I'm still undecided now, right? So, um, it would have popped up just before this now. But at this moment, before I go and edit this video, right, I'm still undecided. Um, Jackson was brilliant again. Minshaw was unbelievable again. Naylor was box to box and magnificent today. Washington was a constant threat. Wilmot was a demon for them of that left wing. I mean, the defence was solid. The keeper, well, for the only few things he had to do, he done well. Um, the free kick that they got was bullshit. But you know, I said, I said, I said, I don't know what I said. There was someone today, so I said, this is the kind of free kick we usually can see from once I should have been given and what we can see it from it well they had their little bit of happiness you know those sort of travelling fans it's like travelling fans oh, I like to wind them up but I do feel a bit sorry for them they travelled all the way to watch their team get pumped and I got a lot of respect for people who travel away with their team especially at a lower level like this so uh, I respect them but I'm glad they went home unhappy because it means I get to go home happy um, another two cards sold for the small king as well. It's been a magnificent day for me personally and um, I think for everybody else if you're a county fan it's been a great day for you especially if you've got the seat. I'm Billy Ingalls Jr. I'm, um, I'm 16 male of course. I'm on Paul Jock. You know my thoughts of the game you know was a great game you know. Well you taken away I mean you've um, you, you hear cut you know your thoughts on a game you know the Broski had a great game Washington had a good game you know Danny Crow. I think over that first my Danny. Oh, did he really? Uh, he never, he only had a couple of 20 minutes, you know. 
together. Look at the stick there, look at that. Let's move this camera out. Here comes, sponsored by Joseph's in town. Sorry about the delay with the, the blog this week. Um, well, been basically working pretty hard up until this point. You know, I haven't got too many hours today, so that's okay. Um, well, I've actually got the time to do it now, to be honest. Record my last bit. I've had a little bit of time to stew over the game and have a good think about it. And um, to be fair, I know I was in a dilemma over the man of the match. Now, I've watched the highlights a couple of times and... Um, I've now decided that my man of the match is going to be Connor Washington, um, which you would have already seen by now. Uh, my reasoning for that, though, I mean, I know there was other people who had, um, you know, solid games throughout midfield and that, but um, he was such a constant threat and he got his goal, you know, and um, having him up front give everybody else the confidence to push forward, you know. So, to be honest with you, yeah, I mean... He's got it. He's you know he's coming strength to strength this season. You know, and um, just for just for sheer you know progression, really, I gotta say, he is looking like he's gonna be a massive player for us. And if he does end up moving on to a bigger club, which I would expect him to at some point, if if he's if he doesn't move up with us, then he's gonna end up getting up there at some point with somebody else, and um, he's gonna end up making the club a lot of money or. He's gonna fire us up, up up another division or two, you know. He's he's a phenomenal player, as far as I'm concerned. He's quick. He's got a good touch, and now he's got his goal. I could see him getting more now. So, you know, bring on the future of Connor Washington. You no, know, I see, and um, I think the reason I've gone with him as man of the match is because this is the match where I th I feel this is the point now. From this point now, is where we're gonna see the birth of a legend. I might be wrong. But I think I'm going to be right, and I think a lot of a lot of other people would agree with me right now. You know, he, he is looking great. You know, so uh, well, I'm kind of you've had a, you know you've been having a belter so far this season. Um, but that's not taking away anything from anybody else in the team who who played on Saturday and who's played so far this season. To be honest with you, it's it's been a great season so far. You know, I mean, I know we were all hoping we could push for the top half, but no one really believed that we were gonna be where we are now in a playoff spot. You know. Um, in good form, beating informed teams, you know the way we did against South End. So uh, yeah, it's, it's it's going great at the moment. You know, I'm really happy, and I'm sure everybody else is as well. Um, another thing I wanted to mention, to be honest with you, was obviously on Facebook you had the um, the uh, League Two banter page uh, kind of thing, one of my blogs, and post and um, obviously Corny. Yes. You at a wanker for that, yeah. Um, he posted my York blog, and as you'd imagine, I got torn into for it by all the other other teams' um, fans. Oh yeah, I'm boring apparently. Yeah, well, personally, if I, if I had to listen to anyone dribble about any of your clubs, I'd find that boring as well. Because the only club I give a shit about in this league is Newport County. So I can I know where you're coming from. I'm gonna be crap, and you're gonna take the piss out of the shape of my head or whatever. Do whatever you want. Don't bother me one little bit, like, you know. And um, the reason of my crusade against against Corny, if people really need to know, is basically he doesn't banter, he gets eight bantered, he'll either result of belittlement, which isn't banter, belittlement for me is disrespectful, because you can banter and have a bit of respect, you know. I mean I respect anybody on that page who just wants to have a good banter and a good laugh, but then is the kind of person you could have a have, have a couple of points with, you know, if you were uh, travel there or they if they travel down to us you know but um you know to go to resort to belittlement banning people so you can humiliate them when they can't defend themselves as well obviously a good friend of mine andy andy lloyd um he suffered that from corny corny decided to ban him purely because andy ate bantered him made him look daft 
he t tried taking Andy on. Andy defeated him. Well, if banter is some sort of duel in that sort of way, then yeah, that's what exactly what he did. Andy defeated him. Corny didn't like it. He banned Andy. So then, what happens then? He's out there, p t uh, pictures of Humpty Dumpty calling him Humpty Dumpty Head and stuff like that. You know, but when you're putting pictures up and really, really trying to mock people, that's not banter, that's just abuse, as far as I'm concerned. Banter, keeping it about, you know, what the whole point of the whole page is about, football, you know. Some people, that they go for on football, they try to pick at your personality in there and try and make you out to be daft, you know. It's like, even though I'm friendly with him now, I'm the one guy on there, I won't mention his name, you know, because there's no point, you know, it's not a name and shame thing this ain't but um he basically took it upon himself every time i said something witty to him instead of actually having a comeback he would just turn around and go oh do you not realize how daft you make yourself saying it's like i just outwitted you you know and i got i'm getting likes on my comments but yet all you're saying is that i'm stupid you know and, f and me that it's just winds me up you know so um yeah so i i gotta be fair i took it a little bit too far at times but my my problem with that corny bloke he uh, he just riled too many people up, and you can see by the support that I had on there. And the thing is, even with him as well, he's trying to say, "Oh, the only people that support that support this are Newport fans." No, even his own fans are on there saying, "I'm a York fan as well, and and I want him banned as an admin." You know, that's just you know, he got a lot of votes and no confidence that day. You know, because yeah, he, he does abuse his power on there, and I know it's only a bloody stupid page on a stupid in, in, on, on on stupid Facebook and all that. But then, you know, it's just one of the things, you know, everybody enjoys using the page, everybody serves its purpose, but then you have got the one or two, like Corny, who decides to move away from the banter, and um, when he gets outsmarted, tries to be a smart ass himself, and he just completely defies the object of the actual concept of the page, you know, so, uh, yeah, so people were a bit flabbergasted as to what I was doing, you know, and why I was keeping on. It wasn't a childish little bickering session like you know it was me actually standing up to someone like corny and a lot of people would agree with me that he's a bit of a dick but well it's all, we've all kissed and made up now it's all better back to the football banter which is exactly what we all wanted so happy days um if any of you other people on that page do get to see this blog and you think i'm boring fuck you simple as apologize for that language but Fuck you. I hope you've enjoyed watching. <laughs> well, we got a test next week, Fleetwood. I can't make it, unfortunately. I've got a big ass phone bill. Obviously, this nice phone comes with its price, you know. It will be the odd game of the season I might have to miss to pay for it, but you know, it's worth it because the video recording quality for these blogs is decent enough for people to carry on watching them, so that's what matters for me. Anyway, I'm going to stop boring you now. I'm going to stop boring you now, because apparently I'm boring. This video itself has been running for seven and a half minutes. God knows how much else, you know, you're bored from the, all the other bits and pieces that I've done. But, um, safe end, brilliant win. Hoping to get at least a point of Fleetwood, just to keep uh, the run going. Definitely responded from Rochdale. So, um, get in there, up the county.